Chapter four is the big drink. So at this point, you've finished all of your shelter planning and we're now talking about getting water and filtering water. So for this component, this is gonna be heavily reliant on your teamwork. As a team, you need to design a water filtration system and it needs to turn collected water into something drinkable. You have to be able to justify your design, otherwise you've got no way of convincing any other survivors that the water coming out of this thing is safe. So it's really important you can justify it, talk about some scientific concepts, talk about the engineering behind it, and go from there. I will provide you with water samples, which will be of various qualities, pretty much all of them currently undrinkable, and the idea is that you're gonna test the effectiveness of your filter once complete. From there, you need to prepare a presentation to deliver your newest survivors. So pretend that you have your shelter and you've built this system and suddenly you've got a new pe a bunch of new people that have come to your shelter and you're saying, you know, welcome, come on in. We're all good. Like we've got our own water supply and they're really skeptical about your water filtration. So you're going to sit them down. You're going to explain it to them, run them through the process, and you're going to deliver a maximum 10 minute presentation on your water filter. Um, and go through how it works and why it should be trustworthy. Things to consider within your presentation, things that you have to include. You need to talk about the scenario and situation in which your filter is required to operate. So for this, you may just pick one dystopia within your group and go, we'll focus on that. Um, otherwise, you can just make up a whole new scenario and just say, the water's toxic, so we're going to filter it, something like that. Your filter designs may be quite different based on the dystopia, depending on what specifically you're trying to filter. If you're trying to filter toxins, that might be one thing. If you're just trying to filter um, something that is floating in the water, like particles, again, that might be quite a different filter. But ideally, we want to try and filter all of these things. You must have the design of the filter, all of the materials used, and a labeled diagram in your presentation the different types of pollutions that you're trying to filter out, so link to the science and the materials, talk about the science behind each component and how it will reduce pollution, your method of testing, so how did you test this filter and what were the results, because we will do trials, any safety considerations when you were building and testing this filter, how did you know that your results improved the water quality, so what did you actually observe and measure to say this water is better than it was before, and you need to do an evaluation at the very end. You say, what went well? What were some of the errors within your testing or your design? What didn't go well? And what would you change if you had to make a version 2.0? So now that you've done this whole process and you've tested it, if you were to go back with maybe more time, more resources, what would you tweak in the future to make it better? So that is your water filtration. Some of the other things that I would add to this is it needs to be portable. So it cannot be just this huge bucket full of materials and it trickles water out the bottom. We want to be able to carry it around with us. So I want something portable. The other thing to consider is how fast it filters the water. If it takes an hour to get half a cup of water, it's not very effective because you've got a whole group of people that are thirsty. They want water as quick as possible. So there's a balance between how fast it is and how good it filters, as well as the portability aspect. You're more than welcome to draw something on Fusion 360, Illustrator, you can 3D print the casing for it if you're gonna make some sort of a casing for the filter to sit in. If you need parts for it, you can 3D print those as well. This is a very construction-based component for this task, so get creative with it. The presentation I'll talk about in a bit more detail, and the presentation can be done however you like. So I would highly encourage some sort of a digital presentation. So rather than just standing out the front as a group, maybe having some pictures on the board, I really encourage you to make something a bit more engaging and digital. So this could be a video. You might put together a video of you guys presenting and you film it and convert that into a video. You may do some sort of an interactive animation, which you can do through PowerPoint um, at the most basic level and do audio voiceovers and stuff like that. Um, you may make some sort of an animated canvas style presentation, you may make a website, it's entirely up to you how you present this, but it must be presented within 10 minutes, it must contain all of this material in as much detail as you can. That is chapter four.